So firstly, Macron announced that he and Crown Prince MBS of Saudi Arabia would co-chair a conference on the establishment of a Palestinian state, June 2-4, 2025, at the United Nations. In the coming months together, we will multiply and combine our diplomatic initiatives to bring everyone along this path. The seven-page resolution seven page for a seven year period for a final week of mankind interesting seven page resolution titled peaceful settlement of the question of Pat palestine stresses the need to urgently exert collective efforts worldwide to launch credible negotiations on all final status issues in the middle east peace process an annex to the resolution calls for a high level international conference to be held next year June 2025 in New York. The conference will aim to produce a document that would urgently chart an irreversible path towards the peaceful settlement of the question of Palestine and the implementation of the two-state solution. God is coming in seven years time to judge the nations, all of them, for dividing his land and the way they've treated Israel, amongst other things. And here we are on an irreversible path, they say. Seven-page document. And Macron with MBS, both important men to watch in these end times in their positions, are both architects of said document. Then on top of that, Trump meets with Francis Macron and Ukraine Zelensky in Paris. France's President Emmanuel Macron thumbs up showed everyone that he was meeting with Donald Trump and Zelensky. This after a meeting at the LSE Presidential Palace in Paris on December 7, 2021, Trump now made his first international trip since his election win preparation for a day of intense diplomacy before attending the reopening ceremony of the Notre Dame Cathedral restored after the 2010 fire. Macron planned to meet with Zelensky and the French president's office, saying he proposed a three-way meeting shortly before Trump's arrival. Their meeting comes as Trump has signaled that he would prefer to quickly negotiate an end to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, but with questions remaining about how he would actually halt the fighting. Now, for me, the interesting thing with this article right here is on the heels of Macron meeting with Mohammed bin Salman and the two of them putting in stone an irreversible path in a seven page document for Palestine to become a reality and them to divide the land next year June at their thing at the UN in New York. Right on the heels of that he sees Trump coming and he says you know what you're invited into this three-way session for peace and security or peace and safety of the Ukraine, Russia situation, special military operation, come sit down and do your thing because you want to end this aggression and this fighting once and for all and as quickly as possible. So they're busy with peace and security, peace and safety. They're busy with the dividing of the land and the splitting of Israel. And all these things are happening right now in front of our faces. They are prophetic. They are end times. And they are heralding how late the hour is and how close the departure of the bride of Christ is too. And that should A, encourage you, excite you, keep you looking up as we're commanded to do in scripture and inspire you to share the gospel and the light that is within us with the dark world around us so that we can bring hope to the hopeless and make a difference in the lives of those around us. Every single one of you are needed. Not just us that are in full-time ministry, working for the Lord and trusting Him and running this race with Him in the field. Every single one of you, you can reach people in your work life or your situation that I will never reach or be able to see or even meet. And those people can have seeds of the gospel of Jesus Christ planted in their lives that the Holy Spirit will water and bring to fruition if we allow ourselves to be used. So I encourage you, make a difference. Even if you think you can't, you can. The Holy Spirit's with you. Shalom.